Hello and welcome to the verdict of Blues unbeaten run has come to an end here at the Amex Stadium. They've lost 1-0 to Brighton and Hove Albion. It was a wonder strike that won it for the host, David Lopez scoring in the second half. Blues came back strongly though and should have perhaps found an equaliser in stoppage time, but it wasn't to be and the host held out for a 1-0 win. Alongside me in the commentary box this afternoon was Paul Tate. And Paul, frustration really is that what we've taken away from this? Yeah, before the game we were looking at it, we were thinking that uh, Brighton are going to keep the ball uh, for most of the game, which they did. But we had a few chances today, but once again it's our decision making. Uh, especially in the second half, Berkey's put a couple of balls across, especially one couple of minutes to go. No one got on the end of that. But overall, I think Brighton just shaded it. We had a few chances in the first half, some fantastic saves by Darren Randolph. I think Luwalua for them was a, was a difference today. And the goal they scored was, was a worldie, wasn't it? It's face, it was a fantastic finish and it was a makeshift back four and the height of the back four we spoke about pre-match but they did very well under the circumstances. They were brilliant, the, the, the back four were fantastic today, the, uh, the defensive pairing of uh, Paul Robinson and Hayden Mullins, to worry about with the height wise, uh, but they were, they were brilliant, uh, once one made a mistake the other one was covering so to me that was a massive plus today those two, they were very very good. And uh, we saw the introduction of Rhys Brown who looked very composed on the ball. It was fantastic when he came on, he uh, wanted the ball all the time, when he got the ball under pressure, didn't panic, showed some great little touches and has got a bright future he has. As you mentioned Brighton perhaps shaded it and perhaps some would say deserved the win but it was just the decision making, if we'd have made different decisions in the final third could have taken something from the game. Yeah I mean at 1-0 you can see the crowd getting a bit edgy, Brighton as soon as they scored they just went on the back foot, they didn't come out and play at all really, but they only caught us on the break a few times when we were pushing forward in the last five minutes. But as I say decision making, we had a few chances, so they had one cleared off the line in the first half but overall I think they deserved the win. And another thing that we spoke about, not just the decision making, was the quality of ball into the box. When you've got Zigic in there, we didn't really give him anything to attack. Not today, not today. Of late, our away performances have been very good, quality of ball into the box. Uh, Mitch Hancock's come back into the team today. First half, few great balls in the box. Second half, didn't get much of the ball. Everything was coming down the right, but we need balls, better balls into him for him to, for him to score Ziggy. And now a chance with back-to-back uh, -back home games to back, get back on the winning trail. Yeah, we need to get back. Massive game against the Oval next week. Obviously, we've got the FA Cup game as well sandwich in between that so we've got our home form has got to start picking up at some stage you know we, we've got to get ourselves out of this mire well thanks for joining us this no problem Paul well it wasn't to be for Blues who couldn't find an equaliser in the last stages but we'll be back on Tuesday night when Bristol Rovers visit in the FA Cup